Hey, Darian strikes again. He like just said that the human development index of the Northern Philippines is almost that of Southern Europe. One man, fake news factory. He's over-exaggerating what he's saying when in reality, Richard Hedarian is forgetting that it is in Metro Manila where you find the phenomenon of people eating pagbag. <laughs> to be honest, we've had a lot of debates and arguments with Richard Hedarian in the past regarding the need to amend or revise the 1987 constitution. I was able to show him that parliamentary systems are known to perform better than presidential systems, and I gave a lot of citations of political scientists and economists who produced a lot of research papers that have proven that parliamentary systems are indeed superior and much more efficient. He wasn't able to counter-argue, and he responded to me by saying, Orion, I suggest read these basics first before bothering me with simplistic stuff. Hegel's phenomenology of spirit and the idea of world historical figures. Giddens structuration theory, how agency structures interact. Lukács Zizek on class consciousness agency and history. But wait, what exactly is the connection or the relevance of these philosophers and theorists he cited to the topic of comparing parliamentary systems versus presidential systems, or even the comparison federalism versus unitarism. No relevance, right? But that's how he is. He'd insert red herrings and other irrelevant and totally unrelated topics, apparently just to confuse or befuddle his audiences, or to announce that I'm better than you because I've read these. What do you think? Are we still going to allow ourselves to be fooled and hoodwinked by a self-proclaimed expert who has repeatedly spewed out inaccurate or downright wrong information information